you know, before even I got my PhD in management and leadership, I remember going to some conferences and presenting papers and, you know, during question and answers, the professors, they'll be addressing me as Dr. Das. <laughs> <laughs> That's because, because I will present I will present the papers in a very you know a high standard. And so I remember one time I went to one conference with one devotee, and uh, that conference, it was funny. So that devotee was sitting with, with us in the uh, on the panel uh, panel program. I mean in our sections, but we, the presenters, we are on the panel program, a panel seat. And so <laughs> I, I was presenting my paper. I think that paper was something a little bit high falutin. Uh, and so I was presenting my paper and, uh, and uh, uh, it was about, it was on kleptomaniacs. And, uh, you know, one of the elderly professors, I think I had spoken for like, you know, uh, three minutes or four minutes, one of the elderly, elderly professors, he raised his hand, he signaled by raising his hand, he, when he had some uh, issues to address. So he said, uh, uh, Das, can you, can you come down to our level? Can you come down to our level? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that, that, at that time, I, I was not having a PhD. And so that, that devotee, he couldn't contain himself. So he, he busted out laughing. And so uh, even the professors, they, they saw my skills and uh, they were very friendly. One thing I, I found with you know, academic people or academicians is that ordinarily speaking, if you don't have their degrees or you don't have their skills, you don't have their competencies, they, they despise you. I remember a case in Boston, one devotee, he had no degree. And he went to Harvard, Harvard University. Harvard University is one of the Ivy Leagues in, in the US. Mm -hmm. So he went to Harvard University. They were distributing back to God. And so one young uh, gentleman, had, he alighted from his car and uh, he gave him a magazine. And this young, uh, this young, this young gentleman, he talked to him and, and, said, and said, don't you know I am Harvard professor? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no, what? What have you got to tell me? I'm, I'm a Harvard professor. <laughs> he said he was demoralized. He, he, turned, he, turned, he turned away from him, and the whole day he couldn't distribute one magazine. So, what does this tell on us? It, it basically brings to bear that we have to be aware of the people we are dealing with. And I've encountered situations similar to those type, that experience with that guy. I remember I went to one university uh, to the head of the department that was also in Africa when I was still in Africa. I went to one university to the head of the department of philosophy and religion. And I told, I, and I requested him that, you know, if I could uh, talk to his students. And then, uh, and I dressed, you know, I dressed. A bro, you know, fanat like a fanatical brahmachari, dirty, tilak, and everything. I went to this professor, and he's, he's, a, Christ he's a Christian university. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so he looked at me, he looked at me up, and looked at, he, looked, he looked down my feet, and he just told me, we don't do this here. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> So what so he I is, we need to earn yeah. respect in their eyes before we can actually enter into their circles. And yeah. one way to enter respect is by either learning their language or getting their degrees or comporting ourselves in a way that they will find at least acceptable, if not respectable. Sure, that's it. Exactly. And so, <laughs> yes, so when, when he tried to mess me up in that way, when he despised me in that way, I pause a little. And then, because I also I was also pretty young in my early thirties, hmm. so I paused a little, and I leaned forward and told him, you know, mildly, softly, that excuse me, sir, better have twenty-five publications in peer-reviewed journals in three years. 
So he was taken aback. He was shocked. And he softly, softly said, can I see some of those journal publications? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the next day, Chetanya, listen, the next day, I came with three, just only three, three journals and showed it to him. I flipped through one of the first one, I showed him my paper. I, I flipped through the second one, I showed him my paper, and the third one, I showed him my paper. And those three journals were from the highest university in the country. But then it turn, they turned the tables around. You know what, you know what he said? His response to that was that, when, when are you coming to make your presentation? <laughs> oh, God. <Okay. laughs>